Hey guys, so in this video, I am going to do a wash and go on long natural curly hair. All of the products that I will be using in this video will be listed with the links in my description. The first product that I'm using is the It's Natural Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner. This product is specially formulated to harness the moisturizing and nourishing properties of pure natural coconut milk. Designed to protect hair both inside and out, this lightweight mist of healthy hair nutrition absorbs deep into the hair to strengthen and fortify hair reducing breakage and mechanical damage from combing and brushing. You can use this product daily for instant detangling, weightless moisture, and shine. The two products that I'm layering is the It's Natural Honey Almond Styling Foam and the It's Natural Sea Moss Curl Pudding. The Honey Almond Styling Foam adds body, volume, and shine, and it has a light to medium hold. The Sea Moss Curl Pudding is a moisture-rich blend of sea moss, honey, and avocado oil. This moisture intense formula helps eliminate dryness, enhances body, bounce, and shine, and regular use of the curl pudding helps soften curls, coils, and waves. I really love this combo because it's really gonna lock in moisture and her hair will last her for two weeks. If she needs to refresh her hair, I always tell my clients to just get in the shower and let the mist from the shower refresh their curls. They don't need to wet it or add any more product because we put enough product in during the service. This technique is proven to work for me and my clients. I've been doing wash and goals with my clients for years and their wash and goals last them two weeks. Always remember you guys with the right technique and the right product, your wash and go can last you for two weeks too. With her hair, I don't have to manipulate her curls. I just use a detangler brush to brush in the product because she doesn't like her hair to start off with too much volume. She'll get the volume over time. But for the first couple of days, she doesn't like as much volume. Everyone's curl patterns are different. Um, most of my clients have really thick coarse hair. So if I do a wash and go on someone with coarse hair, I will manipulate their curls more. Like I do a technique where I kind of just show their curls where the direction that I want it to go. But with her, I don't have to do that. I just simply just detangle her hair with the product. And when you're doing your wash and goes at home, it's important to section your hair and do it in sections. This way you're making sure that the product is evenly distributed throughout the hair, which will help prevent frizz. This client comes every two weeks and we go back and forth with doing a silk press to wash and go. And as you can see, she does not have any heat damage. Also, I always get new clients who um, say they use gel on their wash and goes. I don't use gel on any of my clients for their wash and goes and I have clients that have really coarse hair and I don't use gel with the products these products have enough hold and they add moisture to where you don't need to use a gel a gel is not going to do anything but dry your wash and go out but if you're someone that likes to use gel we do have a sea moss curl gel and a sea moss curl glaze and both of those products do have a hold with moisturizing properties in it. So I will talk about that in another video. But if you're someone that likes to use gel, you should look those two products up on my website and use those. As you can see, when I'm applying the product, I make sure that I get the roots of her hair and I'm definitely making sure that I get those ends.
when doing the wash and go it's important not to rush it's important to do small sections because a wash and go is not a wash and go <laughs> it takes time and of course this is only if you're someone that wants their wash and go to last for two weeks if you're someone that likes to shampoo their hair multiple times in one week then no you don't have to do the small sections but for her she needs her wash and go to last her two weeks So now that I'm finished applying all the product, I'm going to sit her under the dryer for about 30 to 40 minutes or maybe longer depending on how long it takes for her hair to dry. The dryers that I use, they dry really fast so you don't have to spend all day under the dryer just to dry a wash and go. And I feel like it's very important to sit under the dryer to dry your wash and go because for one, you need to dry the product and it sets the product, it sets your hair, which will help your hair last longer. And then you just don't want to air, keep air drying your hair because that can cause a lot of issues with your scalp. And also air drying causes frizz. So this is her hair after completely drying it. Um, as you can see, her hair still looks the same that it looked while it was wet. Look at all the shine. You can tell that it's very moisturized. In about three or four more days, she'll have more volume, but she doesn't like it to start off like that. So I'm not going to touch her curls, like manipulate it at all, because she doesn't like as much volume in the first couple of days. If you'd like to purchase the products, the products will be linked in the description. And if you want to book an appointment with me, you can visit my website, mahoganyjames.net.